Previously on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I fucking did it! And now we continue. Hey everyone, it's Yosef from Dan here, and welcome back to more Deus Ex Mankind Divided! This is the finale, guys! I, I think so, I think this is the finale! Because we're fighting Machenko now, and Machenko really isn't fucking playing! So, in the last part, I used the jammer, because remember how we saved the, um, the, the guy's daughter? He gave me the jammer thing. And now, since I had the jammer, I can set the bombs, and now I gotta fight Machenko. But here's the, here's the thing, when we fight Machenko, this, this is where we get the good and bad ending. So, in order to get the good ending, you have to stealthily, and I think, either stealthily or non-lethally, defeat Bochenko. But if you want the bad ending, you have to do it, you have to kill him. But if you want the good ending, you have to just stun him. So, I'm gonna try to get the good ending, I'm gonna try and stun him with the stun gun, and the freaking, my gas grenades, and my trick rifle. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go! Okay, so I'm gonna try, and, and range, I'm gonna try with range. Disable the turret. You know, you know, I'm just gonna nuke it. Right, I'm just gonna nuke it. Ow! What the fuck? Ugh. So basically, what we gotta do? You just gotta stealthily. Yeah, you just gotta stealthily do it. You know what? You know what? Uh, where's my gas grenade? Boom. No, 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 I do not want them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Okay, you know what? Stun gun time, bitch. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, where are you, where are you? There you go. You gotta do it, because you gotta do it like... Fuck, stop it! Oh, God, I got a lot left. Ow, ow. Oh, wait a minute, Titan Armor! Oh, yes. Wait. Okay, there we go. Get off. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, do I have enough to upgrade my Titan Armor? Because I will upgrade that shit if it's possible. Yeah. So I don't use too much. Ow. Ugh. 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 Come on, Ugh. go to sleep. Go to sleep. Ugh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Run, 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 Where's the tank out? Go to sleep! Oh, fuck, I've got enough left! Fuck, I've got a lot left! Shit! I've got a lot left! No, I want that shit! Take out! Take your ass out! Oh! You know what? You know what? Now's the time for grenade launcher. Huh. Not for me! No! Oh, what the? <laughs> no! 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 Fuck! This is gonna be so fucking difficult! Okay, one more try. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it one more time. If I don't do this one more time, I'm just gonna cut to where I actually beat his ass. Fuck! Ah, it's so fucking difficult! Why? Fucking why? Here's a 
plan. I'm gonna try and stealthily knock his ass. I'm gonna try stealthily. I'm gonna try and do this shit stealthily. Uh, where's my... Uh, whatever. Okay. Ugh, I am making a mad. Called stealth. I'm actually doing shit to you! Ugh. Okay, you know what? You know what? Where's my... Devastator shotgun? I haven't used you at all! Ugh. Oh! Wait, wait, no! Fucking piece of fuck! Pretty. Bomb threat's neutralized. Marchenko's down, and he won't be getting oh, up for a while. Oh, fucking yes! Maybe others are cuffing the bastard. What about Brown and the delegates? I'm heading to the meeting room yeah, now. Yeah, chances are... Go, 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 go! I'll let you know. Jensen out. Fuck! Guys, you have no idea how long that fucking took. Here's what you had to do. Remember when he had the shield shit on, and, like, I'll try to shoot through that? Yeah, you can! That's like his, that's like his titan armor. You can't shoot through that, so as I don't think I was doing damage, I wasn't! Oh, that, I actually wasn't doing any damage. So, fuck! So what I had to do was I had to stealthily, like, run away. I used the glass shield, I hit him once in the head, glass shield cloak, and ran away. And then when he was searching for me, I used the vision Hold thing on. to find out where he was. Glass shield cloak, snuck up behind him, and just kept hitting him in the head with the freaking um, tranquilizer around. But I think I glitched him, though. I legit think I got him in a glitch, because he wasn't moving. Like, he was, I don't know if you guys, I'll see, I'll see if I can show it to you. Like, he wasn't moving, like, he just wasn't moving at all. I was like, holy shit, did I glitch or what? I, th I legit, like, glitched it. Like, he was, you just stuck on the, um, on the mind thing. You were just stuck there. Yeah, and he wasn't I moving. Was. I was like, fucking, yeah, I know it's the cheat as fuck, but I have, like, fucking, finally, yes. Okay, how the fuck do I get down there? Come on, come on. Do I, um, yeah, it's, it's down there, but how the fuck do I get down there? Okay, okay, come on. Let's go follow the path. Scott, follow it. Scott, follow it down. Come on, come on. Guy, I don't know if this is time sensitive or what, but I don't want to like fucking fail it. Fuck no, it's not it. Okay, it says up. I, I don't know what this means. Fuck, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know where the fuck you want me to go. Okay, um, maybe if I, maybe if I break this. Let's just break it! Ugh. No! Fucking piece of- Fuck, how the fuck do I get down there? Oh my freaking god, if I fucking fail this because I couldn't get down there in time, I'm just- I'm, I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm gonna fucking cry! Cause if I get- if I can legit, like, save both of them, and I couldn't do it because- if I, and I couldn't do it because, you know, I was too busy not knowing where the fuck to go. I'm gonna fucking cry. I will fucking cry. Right here, right... Yes, here we go. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming to save you guys! I'm coming to save you! Please don't die on my watch! Please don't die, 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 please don't die. Oh, fuck. Can I get, I can't get cover? Fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna have time to deal with you. Copy that. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm gonna have time to deal with you. I do not got time to deal with you. I'm just gonna blast you, clip my way through this. Mark is gold. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Confirm report of low ping. Okay. Oh, you got it. No! Fucking ass! Fucking ass! Okay. Okay. Okay! Gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me! 
Ah, 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 As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but... What about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Why? We won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. <sighs> We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. <sighs> Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. It wasn't my place to play judge and executioner, Alex. We should be concerned for every life, no matter how badly it's been lived. Once a cop, always a cop, huh? Regardless, we want the men behind him behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting, face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker 
whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Allison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group, Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, Brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding our controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. We can only imagine what instruments of terror they will find. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Otar Botkaveli, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to Botkaveli tell me he has only recently assumed this role and should not be held accountable for past mistakes. I do not know, folks. Is this really the face of a man we can trust? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. Turning our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's Neon operation. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of Neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks, Neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic benefits, and if so, a government-approved version of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course, so only time will tell. So that was it, guys. Death, sex, mankind divided. Sorry if I didn't, like, talk back to the other parts where, like, it cut to the elevator to the door. The game actually crashed. <laughs> the game actually, just when I got into the elevator, the game just crashed. I was like, fuck. Let me just get up to the elevator. Let me just get up to the door. And me really miss much. All I do is, like, get up, all I do is get off the elevator, and the door is, like, right there. So, boop. So, yeah, from my opinion of this game, I actually really, really love, if you love decision-based games, and you love, st if you're, like, a really big stealth game, like, stealth fanatic and stealth game fanatic, this is definitely the game for you. I really actually enjoy this because I don't know much about Deus Ex, but I'm one of the people that I'm like, well, like I love a good mystery. I love like a good like stealth game, and this is definitely worth to buy, especially with DLC and all these you know what ifs and like all these different endings you can get. 
I think I got the perfect good ending, which means that I was able to stop Machenko non-lethally and stop Orchid from, from killing Brown. I think that I got the perfect good ending, but let me know in the comment section what ending you got. So, actually, like, why I really, like, kind of don't like about this game is that it was, it felt short. The game felt really, really short compared to Human Revolution. Because in Human Revolution, you went all over the place. You went to China, you went to this, you went to that, you did, you did all of this. And, and you hit, went to all this, you know it's never felt alone. You know, it was never felt like in like one place at a time. And that's what I really didn't like about Mankind Divided. That it felt like you either went to Prague, and then went to this place, back to Prague, went to this place, then back to Prague. That pretty much, it, there was like very little to explore, very little to find. Unlike in Human Revolution, where you can literally spend hours and hours and hours out exploring Chicago and out exploring China and not progress one inch in the story and they sort of try to do that in here but it, it, it just wasn't as like New Revolution I just wish that it would have been I wish probably would have been bigger and there was more to explore and more side missions because in New Revolution there were side missions up the ass you could have kept yourself you could have made a whole nother game just on the side missions and here you're doing like like what two side missions <laughs> so, for my final review, out of 10, I would definitely give this game an 8. Because uh, it, it crashed, the game crashed a few times, but I, I'm, I mean, every game does that, but like, it crashed at certain moments that I was like, really game? Really? But yeah, that's why I really like the, the progressive system, the new, like, experimental odds, they're actually really fun to use, they're a huge game changer. So I'll say, you know, my final verdict for this, for Data Text Mankind Divided is a solid 8 out of 10. So I'm gonna let the credits roll. I'm gonna give these marvelous people the great credit they deserve. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. And the next series we're doing is gonna be Risen. It's gonna be well, it's probably already happening, but it's Resident Evil, the HD remaster of the original Resident Evil, and then I think it's gonna be Rise of the Tomb Raider and Battlefield One. So thank you all of you for this magnificent chance to play this great game. Thank you so much for watching. You people are just the most amazing people I've ever met. You, you got, give yourself a, give, give yourself a round of applause, guys. R round of applause. Give, give you guys a round of applause. You guys are incredibly amazing. Don't forget to click that subscribe button because there are gonna be so much more to come. Don't forget to like because this, oh, this game took, this game made me want. This game took an arm and a leg. I'm now augmented. I now have an augmented arm and augmented leg because of this game. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just stay awesome, everyone. Be cool and stay awesome. not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help, possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's 
it's only a matter of time.
ASN, I fucking did it!